In 1975, the Portuguese Corvette Afonso Cerqueira was born. Corvettes are traditionally the smallest class of vessels considered a proper warship, usually faster than larger ships. Afonso Cerqueira, named after a Portuguese admiral, started its service with the Portuguese Navy on the 28th of June in 1975, right at the time when the last Portuguese colonies were gaining independence. After supporting another Portuguese ship sailing from Timor in Southeast Asia back to Portugal, Afonso Cerqueira was tasked with surveillance and search and rescue missions in Açores, Madeira and in the rest of the Portuguese exclusive economic zone. But after 40 years braving the seas, its service was no longer required, as younger corvettes would take its place. So on the 11th of March 2015, it was decommissioned and its operational life officially ended. But that would not be the end of Afonso Cerqueira's mission on Earth. Because of climate change, pollution and drag fishing, seafloor habitats have been disappearing at unprecedented rates. There are many methods to combat this ongoing destruction, like fighting against these instigators in the first place and establishing marine protected areas. However, there are also those who set out to try and provide a new space for marine creatures to inhabit, like for example, through the creation of artificial reefs. Artificial reefs are human-created underwater structures typically built to promote marine life. This was to be the fate of Afonso Cerqueira. So on the 4th of September of 2018, the corvette was sunken south of the Giron Cape where it would fulfill its ultimate mission at 30 meters deep. It would serve as an artificial reef for several marine species. It would also be the perfect diving spot for curious divers like myself. This September, V and I headed to the south of Giron Cape to check out the Corvette on what would be the first wreck dive for both of us. So we were both pretty excited for that. After a 20-minute bumpy boat ride, we jumped into the water. And when I looked down from the surface, there it was. Afonso Cerqueira in all its splendor. We descended next to a rope that was attached to a buoy and the corvette, and immediately I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was in a haunted place, but in a good way. A place full with history and stories to tell. Subconsciously, I think we generally wrongly perceive that the ocean and humans exist in different domains of existence. Seeing a wreck for the first time up close like this was like visualizing those two domains colliding. Waking up the subconscious to how we actually don't live in different universes. And that we are somehow interconnected. Despite only having been underwater for four years, the wreck was already blooming with life. Algae covered its entire surface, and some fish seemed to like that. Like this parrotfish feeding on the algae and rubbing itself against the deck. And this Atlantic chromis also scratching itself against the ship. You go, buddy. Despite not being very big, these fouling algae provide food and habitat for many fish and invertebrates, creating a biodiversity hotspot and a new home for many species. Like this Christmas tree hydroid. This fern-looking organism is a common fouling animal and is known to grow on shipwrecks. And I made the mistake of touching it by accident. Just like their distant cousins, the jellyfish, these hydroids have nematocysts which can sting and cause some rash and itchiness, which they did. These hotspots can also attract big schools of fish, like the salemas and damselfish. I'm really starting to think that these local triggerfish have it coming for us, but at least this time most of them kept at a distance. At least, most of them. Ah, <laughs> no you don't. The entire dive felt surreal to me, and like something out of a dream. I mean, I even got to enter the captain's cabin and speak on the phone. It was a fantastic first wreck dive experience.
Here was a ship designed for war, that had traveled around the world and was now lying here in its final destination, where it would serve as home to its last garrison. Somehow poetic that a ship that was designed for war was now being used to promote life. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons on Patreon for supporting what I do and this channel. If you want to support what I do, check out my Patreon down below. You can also find the link to my store and my book. I am hosting a trip to Indonesia next year where we will be seeing a lot of cool stuff, including marine life. So check it out also down below if you want to sign up. There are still some spots available. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.